Hi guys, welcome back to another video, long time no see. I feel like I haven't filmed a video in a hot minute. I feel like it's time for me to sit down and just give you life updates, answer some questions you guys have, and just like talk about what's going on in my life. I feel like it's pretty appropriate because so much is going on. Life is like a roller coaster right now and I just kind of want to explain why I've been MIA on social media and just everything going on. So <laughs> let's get into the video. So the first thing that I want to talk about is definitely the main reason as to why I haven't been active and that's due to Hurricane Ian. So Hurricane Ian um, hit South Florida on Wednesday, September 28th and it was a long journey for sure. So I kind of already updated YouTube on my other channel, which is Emma Nelly. I'm not really educated on the logistics of hurricanes, but I do know Hurricane Ian was a category four. It's very close to being a category five when it hit land. On Wednesday, it was over on top of South Florida for about six hours, which is a very long, long time. It was very scary. Um, it was my second hurricane I have ever experienced. So here are some pictures of what my town looks like. It was very flooded after the hurricane happened. A lot of trees are down, a lot of buildings were damaged, a lot of signs fell off. Um, it was very sad and heartbreaking to see your town completely destroyed. Um, I will say nothing compared to Fort Myers or Sanibel Island and the sad thing is I vacationed to Sanibel Island many many times and it's so disheartening seeing um, both towns and other towns completely demolished. Like yeah my town got severe damage they I could not even imagine and it's so sad and I am praying for everyone that lives there or affected by the hurricane like truly like it's it's scary hurricanes are scary especially when they are bad hurricanes the hurricane was finally over we cleaned up we didn't have power for about seven days I think or water or wi-fi so I had that week of like no phone service so I couldn't post anything so yeah it's really crazy that it happened but it did and not, there's nothing we can do about it because it's literally mother nature like what are we gonna do it's not like we can prevent hurricanes I would love to do that but we can't I just briefly wanted to mention that because that's definitely one of the main reasons as to why I just haven't been active on social media and I'm just trying to get into the swing of things again after that all happened okay so we're gonna move on to general questions and just questions you guys have so the first question is if you could dye your hair a color besides brown or blonde what would it be I don't know if you can tell but hair is a little bit darker a lot darker actually well, a few days ago my hair was like super light brown and it was time for me to go back to like my darker roots, darker color, and voila. <laughs> what I use is 2NN by the brand called Ion, and I get my dye from Sally's. It works wonders. I've always used box dye, and my hair is still pretty healthy. It looks black. That's because 2NN is darkest intense brown. It's literally like the closest thing to black. Since it's not actual black dye, this color will fade over time, and I'll go back to like a light brown, and then I repeat the same process over and over again. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I use and I just wanted to say that I dyed my hair and it looks good. The next question is how are you feeling after your stomach accident? You're new here or you didn't know. I found out that I have cysts on my ovaries and they're just little cysts. They're nothing like out of the ordinary. Like the doctor said that I don't have to get them removed, but they do cause a lot of pain if they rupture. <laughs> so I was on my period like a month ago and I got out of the shower and instant like knife to the stomach metaphorically obviously basically that's when the cyst ruptured and i was in so much pain for about like an hour and then i finally went to the hospital i went to two to get two different opinions the first one said that i had an inflamed colon and then the second one did a ct and then they found out that i had cysts on my ovaries and that's why i was in so much pain because one of them popped and then you were also on your period so the cramps were really bad as well very traumatizing experience because the pain is just literally Really awful. TMI though, I'm about to start my period in two days and I am praying that one of them doesn't pop again because I won't be home. I'll be up in Tampa and I have plans the entire weekend. And I'm just like, <laughs> please don't rupture because I think since I was on my period, that's what caused one of them to rupture. So I'm just hoping that was like a one-time thing, knock on wood. 
I, I cannot deal with that again. But yeah, ever since then, I've been feeling good. Um, I really haven't had stomach pains. The real test is when I start my period in two days. So we'll see how that goes and I'll keep you guys posted with that. So the next question is, what is something you're looking forward to? My plans for this month, y'all have no idea. So I actually leave tomorrow, which is Friday, October 14th to go up to Tampa for the weekend. Nothing new, I visit Tampa all the time. Like that's nothing out of the ordinary for me. But I am going to Hollow Scream and then I'm also going to a concert for Pitbull on Sunday. And I am so excited. Y'all have no idea. I have not been to a concert in six years. My last concert was for Fifth Harmony when I was 12 years old. Flashback. Okay, tell them where you're going. Okay, so we're going to the Fifth Harmony <coughs> concert in <and> we got <laughs> limo. End of flashback. Is that not crazy? That is like, that's the most baffling thing ever. I'm going with my best friend Ellie and it's just gonna be such a fun experience. It's gonna be a fun weekend and we're gonna be super, super tired. But that's something I'm looking forward to for sure. Another thing is Halloween. I love Halloween. It's definitely one of the best holidays ever. I've actually already planned out my costumes. So my plan for Halloween is to go up to Tampa again, uh, <laughs> to go to USF um, and visit Ellie because Halloween's like a four day weekend. So you have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then Halloween's on a Monday, which kind of sucks because like, ugh. Monday suck. You plan on going up to USF for those three days and then coming home probably Sunday afternoon. So I'm home with my family on Halloween day. Cause, but I do have my costumes. I have two. Me and Ellie are going to be doing a duo costume. And then I have another one as well, which I've already all ordered, which is very exciting. And they're all coming in. I just can't wait. Like Halloween is the best holiday ever. Another thing is the new year. We're already in like mid October and the new year is in like two months and then after that it's my birthday 20 days later and i'm gonna be turning 19 so that is something that i'm looking forward to as well okay so moving on to the next question is how is the single life like i haven't talked about this since my breakup which was three well almost three months ago and let me tell you i am amazing i am so happy and i did not realize how much i miss being single until i got out of this relationship it's sad to admit, but I have so much freedom. I don't have to report to anyone and I can do whatever I want whenever I want. It's the best feeling in the world. And so many girls like say they want a boyfriend and like they want a relationship. No, I'm the complete opposite now. Men are icky and I can't stand to be in another relationship again. I mean, down the road, eventually I'll want a boyfriend. I'll want to be married, you know, but for right now, I just love being independent and I don't think a relationship is right for me like anytime soon. Overall, I'm doing really well and I'm genuinely so happy and I'm good. The next question is what are your current hobbies or ones you want to start? So the first thing I feel like most people know is that I do like reading. I bought a lot of Colleen Hoover books and I've been reading those and I love to read poem books. So in my free time, I'm usually reading. Other than that, like some other hobbies is probably journaling. I've been journaling for a really long time ever since I was little. I love to write down my feelings and just like write in a book. I think it's very therapeutic. Another hobby is shopping. <laughs> it's a very bad hobby. I know this isn't really a hobby, but I just got a job, nine to five job, and I'm so excited. So um, family friends of ours own this like printing company and they like print stuff on t-shirts. They do like runs. I don't know. They do really well with their business. I've been hiring for a really, really long time. And I was like, I have all the free time in the world. Like you can schedule me whenever you want. I never have plans. I don't really do anything. And so I'm basically doing Mondays and Wednesdays. I'm only doing two days a week. So for Monday and Wednesday, the hours are 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. The owners told me that they do work later than 4.30 p.m. So like sometimes they go to six and the latest they've ever been was like 10 o'clock. So honestly, the hours vary. I am getting paid, which is obviously a great factor, but the reason why I wanted to get a nine to five job and like an actual job is just to make me more of a well-rounded person to feel productive and just feel like I have something going on in my life. Cause right now I just have so much free time and I'm not doing anything with that free time. And it's gonna get me out of the house two days a week and also help with my social skills because what they want me to do is like talking to people and like making phone calls like every day. And I'm just like, 
I can't do that because my social skills are like so bad, but it's gonna help me. So it's not really a hobby, but it is something that I'm starting very soon that is new to my life and I'm very, very excited about it. Camera is about to die, but that's everything that I kind of just wanted to update you and just talk about what's been going on in my life and just kind of why I've been MIA. The most important thing and like new and exciting is me getting a job. I think that's very, very eventful. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we'll see you all very soon back in the videos. Bye guys.